The U.S. Army is in the process of modernizing its forces and warfighting capabilities, including the cyberspace domain and the electromagnetic spectrum. Here, at the Cyber Center of Excellence, we contribute to this effort by conducting a world-class, Army-level prototype assessment named CyberQuest. CyberQuest was established in 2016 and is conducted in an operationally relevant environment to inform technical solutions and material changes for increased capability in our signal and SEMA formation. We fight threats to government networks each minute of every day and understand all too well that these are the critical arenas for current and future conflict. In 2016, the Commanding General of the Cyber Center of Excellence identified a, a problem where the vendors uh, weren't necessarily connected to the capability gap uh, development process. And we had to develop an exercise that would actually get uh, the linkages connected between industry partners and our capability developers to identify the gaps, use technology to see if they could solve the gaps, and to also determine if we could rapidly field these technologies into our operational forces. Right now, there is absolutely unprecedented growth across the Army in terms of cyber and electronic warfare. Really excited about CyberQuest. There's a lot of really great capability that's going to come out of this, and it's going to inform how we're actually going to equip these cyber and electronic warfare formations of the future. Here at the Cyber Battle Lab, uh, we have a permanent experimentation network, which aims to replicate the key features of the brigade combat team's network environment and their tactical operations center. And we bring units from elsewhere in, such as the US Marine Corps and US Strategic Command, who are both playing a part this year in CyberQuest. We've got the 101st Airborne, are providing the majority of the troops inside the TOC, and we have Army Cyber as well, providing us with elements of a cyber protection team and an expeditionary cyber team. The new Georgia Cyber Center has been established uh, by the state of Georgia in downtown Augusta, which is another incredible opportunity to where technology coming out of this CyberQuest exercise can be experimented with. The partnerships are just going to enable our nation to improve national security and collaborate on just so many great and innovative ideas and solutions for some very complex problems that exist in cyberspace. I think the most significant output is that we provided a platform for vendors who have no experience with the Army to understand in great detail what it is the Army wants. That positions them far more strongly for participation in future acquisition events. What we're trying to do this year and looking forward is partnering with Material Command, Army Futures Command and the capability managers who are already here to ensure that the technologies who come into CyberQuest have got a much stronger pathway to acquisition. So there have been technologies that have been determined to be mature enough to field to the operational forces rather quickly, and that's one of the objectives of CyberQuest. There has also been success from a standpoint of identifying those gaps, and if the technologies aren't mature enough, it gives the industry vendor partners time to go back to the drawing board, revisit their research and development, and then revisit those gaps. The threat of cyber attack is real and has never been as potentially catastrophic as it is today and the cyber threat to our national security will continue to increase. By leveraging industry innovation and partnering with academic and other government agencies, we can rapidly develop and acquire capabilities that will keep our nation in the forefront of cyberspace capabilities. Cyber, electronic warfare, and signal forces benefit from our experimentation during CyberQuest. Our efforts help them overcome challenges in support of Army warfighting and modernization priorities. We help them to enable commanders across multi-domain formations, seize initiatives, and pose multiple dilemmas to potential adversaries.